I went along to McGrath's social media training and they were raving about Melanie Hull. So I thought I need more help than I realise and I've got to start with someone who really knows what they're doing. So at the end of the day, social media for me is all about my brand presence. It's about reaching people, staying in touch with the ones that I want to be in touch with in a very subliminal way, but a regular way. And also to understanding that ultimately this is the lead generator of the future and we have no choice but to get involved. It's a question of how you get involved and making intelligent decisions around it. I find it's important for my team to be in contact with Melanie to help them understand the best way to maximise what they're doing, to understand what's the best possible reach for the best possible spend um, at every point and how we make the most of every little bit of effort we put into social media. Because time is so precious in real estate, it's critical. And if we're looking for big growth, we need incredible advice. The only area I felt we were behind on was social media. We tried to do it ourselves, but then we realised the complexities of social media and just how much work it was and just how difficult it was. And the time that's involved, I mean, we were just throwing out stuff daily that we thought might be relevant without having actually looked back and realised what, you know, what our market, what our owners, what our buyers wanted to hear and see. So the help that we've been given has gone all the way from building our website, um, creating profiles for our team, um, building imagery that we can use within that website, um, looking at blogs, articles, even to the point of Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, so the, you know, the assistance has been very, very good. Uh, it's been great fun working with Melanie. She really knows the stuff, um, it's, but she's so easy to work with. And I think for me, she took so much time to understand our marketplace, um, not just in terms of Castle Hill and the Hills District, but in terms of our specific marketplace, our target market, and I think that's really helped us as well. Even though, uh, you know, as I say, it's just so complex, um, the mystery is being unravelled, and um, I certainly can make sense of it and understand the layering side aspect of it, and um, I, I certainly do think it is the way of the future, and um, it is a very important part of marketing and real estate today. The real estate market here in Sydney is incredibly competitive. The area that I work in, we've got three or four really strong agents and then we've got another three or four really strong agents knocking on the door. So um, part of the social media strategy is really a defensive position as well where you, know, you just need to make sure that your brand is really strong, there's no complacency and you're sort of planning ahead for the future as well. Um, you, know, you need to bulletproof your business and, and that strategy is part of it. I locked in a uh, probably a three hour training session with, with Melanie here in the office and what really blew me away was just the depth of technical knowledge that goes behind you know, the different uh, social media profiles and platforms and the real understanding, like the advantage of working with someone who really understands how to explain you know, how Facebook really works and, and what the algorithms are and you know, how the system works and how to maximise the value out of that. And to do it in a, in a way that, um, to be able to explain to someone like me with very little knowledge of social media in a way that made it very easy to remember and, uh, and to understand was really important. So I've been really impressed with, um, with what they've done in terms of reworking my social media profiles and just their understanding of how I can be really working to, to build profile and, uh, and create opportunities that, you know, and keeping my personal brand out there in the marketplace. Evidence shows that people are actually thinking of selling their home probably six months before they actually engage a real estate agent. We're able now through the website to track those people who, who are just starting to think about getting their homes on the market. So I actually have a six month head start on any other agent before they even get in the door. Um, and that's all driven digitally, which is, uh, which is a great advantage. You know, to engage somebody who knows what they're doing, um, A, as an agent, I just simply don't have time. It takes so much time and certainly expertise to be able to do the right blogging, to be able to have um, yourself marketed correctly so that you're actually putting your best face forward to the public. 
Uh, and it's imperative that you get that right because you only get one opportunity to do that. Uh, so by engaging a great team that Mel has on board that then enabled me to do that, uh, I couldn't think of anything worse sitting down and, and trying to write a blog. So um, for, to have an expert team do that for you, uh, it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, the great thing about uh, the work we do with her is that uh, we can track the results through the platform that, that we built and we can see our audience, social audience growing week on week. We can see uh, leads coming through, we can track the quality of those leads and it allows us to kind of get a really good picture of return on investment. It's a new area for us, you know, as an agency, you know, and as a tech business, content marketing is, is kind of an area to invest in and, and it takes a little bit of time to get the ROI, but once you start seeing it build and come through, it's really effective and uh, certainly great for us in terms of being able to measure our interactions with our audience. Our social media really was non-existent beforehand. Um, it was a new medium for us to explore. Um, we hadn't had the energy or the time to do it. Being a startup, we didn't see the need for it initially. Obviously writing articles and helping us write articles, a lot of work that has to go into those from our side of things and also from, um, from Mel and her team in terms of gaining interviews with people, getting content, uh, sort of, you know, the stories. So that's, that's, a, that's a huge amount of work from, from their end. Yeah, I think the best thing that's actually come from it is the feedback from, from people that, even my friends who are in the real estate industry, and they're sort of saying, you know, these articles you're writing are fantastic and the, the content you, you're writing is, is fantastic and, and really insightful. So um, I think that was the biggest surprise for me. Often the big thing is that with content marketing, obviously all the work we're doing with this so, in social media is you might pay for a certain amount now and you only see a small result in the first month but realistically, if you go on the back end of the stats and you can see over a 12 month period, you see how much time people have actually engaged with those articles and come to your site and read them, that's where it pays for itself. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people don't, don't look at. They sort of just look at it front, up front and say, you know, the cost is oh, it's quite expensive, but really that content's growing your reach constantly.